guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today, this is another one of those tricks that I have no idea of the origin for. So if you can let me know, please let me know down below. I've been doing this for probably two or three years now. Someone showed it me when I was drunk at Blackpool. That's where I learned this. Uh, anyway, I'm here with Matt. <laughs> I might have changed it, I don't know, I was so drunk I can't remember. Uh, but it's, it's a trick with deck of cards, Matt, and I'm going to make a prediction. Okay. And I have a feeling that that prediction will come true. Now, before I do anything, give the cards a mix-up, give them a shuffle, make sure they're all mixed up. And I'm not going to change the order of the cards. I'm going to take a prediction out, but I'm not going to change the order. You happy? Cool stuff. Sure. So I'm going to take a... Uh, I don't want you to see what the prediction is, but I'm going to take a prediction out of this deck. Uh, I'm going to go for... this one right there. That's my prediction. That goes right there. Now, I'm going to have you pick a card, and that prediction is going to match it, but we're going to do it in the most random way ever. We're going to eliminate cards until we're left with two cards. One of those cards will represent a suit, one of those cards will represent a value, we'll put them together, and those two cards will match my prediction. I want you to remember, before I did anything, that prediction went down. Pick up the cards, the cards that you shuffled. Yeah. Start dealing them face down into a face down pile on the table. That's it. Now, by the way, yeah, deal, but you can deal from the, uh, you can deal from the bottom, you can deal from the middle, you can deal from the centre, you can dock two or three cards down at the same time. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you I can go just... from anywhere, yeah. Um, and from the middle, of it, you can put a couple of cards. Whenever you're happy to stop, stop, and we're going to eliminate all the cards left in your hand. Happy? No, you're still going. We do want to eliminate some of us. We're here forever, you realise that. God, you're such an arse. Okay, put those on top of the box. They're gone. I'm going to square these up. Okay, now take the cards. We're going to start the process of eliminating some more. We've already eliminated probably about half the deck. Yeah. Deal them into two piles like you're dealing a two-handed game of poker. Perfect. You do so well. Thanks you very much. You should be a croupier. I don't look good enough in a waistcoat. So, we're going to eliminate some more cards now. There's two piles. Which pile would you like to use? Whichever pile you want to use, pick them up. Okay. Now, you're going to start, when I say, you're going to start dealing cards down onto the table, and you're going to face down, you're going to stop. Whatever's left in your hand, you're going to eliminate. So you can deal cards onto the table. Whenever you want to stop, stop, and whatever's left in your hand, you're going to eliminate. You want to... Now, we need to know how many cards are there. So pick them up and just deal them onto the table and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So we're going to eliminate uh, all but seven cards here. So pick up this packet, deal seven cards onto the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put those there. Is that fair? Let's think about this. You shuffled the deck. Yeah. You then dealt cards onto the table. You eliminated half the deck. Yeah. You then dealt them into two piles. You picked up a pile. You decided how many cards to, to eliminate. You've done everything, right? Mm -hmm. We're left with these cards. Nobody can know what these cards are. Nobody can know the order of these cards or which cards are which. We're going to eliminate all but two. I'm going to do it really randomly. You're going to take the top and the bottom card and put it over there on the discard pile. You're going to keep going until you've got two cards left. So take the top and the bottom, put them over there. That's great. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Stop. So, uh, yeah, put those there. So you're left with uh, with two cards. Is that fair? Yeah? Yeah. No one could have known what these two cards are, could they? Like, and this prediction was put down. Are you telling me that those two cards well, are going to tell me about that card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One There's of the, no one, way. One of these cards is going to represent the value. One of the cards is going to represent the suit. You've got one more decision to make. The first card I turn over, do you want it to represent the value or the suit? Value. Are you sure? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah. Yeah? So this one here is going to be the value. So that's the ace. Ace. And this one here will be the suit. Ace Six of space. space. Now you could have ended up with a completely different scenario if you'd shuffled the cards slightly differently, or if you'd eliminated different cards, or if you'd have decided to eliminate less cards or anything, you could have ended up with a different scenario. And I put that card down there from the very beginning before you did anything. And at no point have I touched the cards. Ace of spades. Have a look. I don't want it. I think you should. That's not, that's not possible, man. 
I'd do it for you, put my hands off all. No! Yes! <laughs> I don't like that one! <laughs> yeah, well, it was a, it was How a, is that a thing? I don't know, it's never worked before, it was a fluke, so... Um, it's a very good fluke. Yeah, I'm just glad it worked. Anyway, so now we've killed Matt. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. What the? I know. Let it out. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with the Magic Live. I'll see you then. Mm.